Hi ladies, Ashley here from Glow Body PT and welcome to my intense extreme shoulder workout challenge for you. All you need for this workout is a pair of dumbbells. I have 10 pound dumbbells, which is about four and a half kilograms, but use what is right for you, whether you're going to go lighter or heavier. I have Ava here with me today and she's prancing around in her fancy shoes. We got it Goodwill for $3 and loving them. And then the boys and dogs are here as well. We're going to get warmed up with no equipment at all. So I just want you to start with shoulder circles, bringing the palms facing out, 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 and then bringing the palms together. So palms out, 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 and then once you pass your ears, palms are facing each other. Here we go. So rolling these, let's pick up the pace. Do you need some more space? Okay, she need more space. And five. Four, three, two, one. Now I want you to reverse that. Palms are together. And then at the ears, the palms switch and face to the rear. Palms together. Now palms out once we pass the ears. If you feel a little cracking, that's no problem. That is generally just air compressing. Now if the popping feels painful, that is an issue, but know that we're just getting our shoulder mobility on before we train our arms, uh, shoulder muscles really hard today. And now bring the elbows back towards each other and together, nutcrackers here, squeezing shoulder blades and elbows, reaching them together. And three, two, one, I want you to grab your dumbbells with me. All right, lateral raises, here we go. So the arm is slightly bent and we're not coming out perfectly perpendicular to the side. It's just a little bit forward. And that's going to be healthiest for our shoulder joints. The way this workout is structured is you're going to do six exercises with two dumbbells, then six exercises with just one dumbbell, and then we'll repeat that again, the six exercises with one dumbbell, and then finish with this hard, a uh, two dumbbell set of six again. And nine seconds here. Two, and rest it out. Next is shoulder Arnold's. This is what it's going to look like. We're gonna give a press up and then come to the center. We wanna avoid resting on the chest, but if you have to rest on the chest, okay, that's better to rest than to quit altogether. We wanna avoid resting on your chest muscles. And press up, rotating the palms towards your face and coming together. No need for the dumbbells to bang. This is nice and controlled movement. Well, I guess this mat is just getting a little more, should I use the word crowded or full of love? I don't know, what do you think moms? I'm gonna say full of love. And nine more seconds. and rest it out. Next, we're going into shoulder pulses. So these are just little tiny micro pulses, a couple centimeters up and down. We're really going to feel the burn now. And two, one, come up to your shoulder press position and we're pulsing right here. Little tiny movements. Now, just like I mentioned with our lateral raises, I don't want your elbows perfectly out to the side. That's actually not very healthy for your shoulders. Just going to be, a fraction, um, a, a little bit in, I'd say about 10% angled in. Thirteen seconds, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest it out. Single arm, but we're still gonna be holding on to both dumbbells. So one dumbbell is gonna be right here. Notice that it's not against my chest. It's gonna be out just slightly, okay? And then the other arm is going to be pressing. Let's do this. The back of your tricep is completely against your chest and stomach. So this is still engaging the arm that isn't moving. It's engaging those shoulder muscles, but to a much lesser degree. 
in three, two, one. Switch arms, here we go. Because this one is so intense, we do break it up at the halfway point and we do this twice to make sure we get the full length of training for each shoulder. Four, three, two, one. Good, rest it out. You have such good ideas the way you play with all of your toys. And get ready for it. Repeating that again. So this is 45 seconds of work in case you're wondering, so we switch at about the 22 second mark. You gonna go see brothers? You can if you want to. In three, two, one, switch it out. Here we go. So we're gonna have one more exercise that uses both dumbbells, and then it's kind of like a mental recovery break in the center of the workout, so that we're just using one dumbbell in the middle. Mental recovery doesn't mean it's not hard though, because this is an Ashley Keller Glow Body PT workout. If you've done any of my challenges or workouts before, you know that I will push you to your max, but because it's a loving way because I really care about delivering your results. Arms are facing outward. An outward bicep curl to W press, and then complete lower. Outward bicep curl, W press. Your palms are facing towards your body, not towards me, mine aren't towards you, they're right towards your ears. Here we go, I'm gonna show you this one behind. I know we all wanna be lying on the floor right now like Ava is. So this baby is due in less than three months. It's getting really exciting, really real. I had a 3D ultrasound for the first time ever. Just got lucky, they actually had to recheck baby's um, face profile and the woman at the hospital was like, I'm gonna give you a 3D ultrasound. So that was my first time ever seeing one. It was such a blessing and she said this something along the lines of, now if that's not a baby, I don't know, I don't know what is. So it's really exciting to, to see and to see her love for babies. Um, next is drivers, one dumbbell, okay, for all six exercises. We're gonna press out, give me one, two, three, draw back to chest, press out, three, two, one, draw back to chest. Let's look at this from the side. One, two, three, draw back in, three, two, one. Hey, Cooper. Hey, Eva, will you let Cooper out, please? Will you let him go potty? One, two, three. Three, two, one. Never holding your breath. Breathing throughout. I know this is tough. Seven seconds left. Drop back in. Good. All right, very similar, except we're doing forward raise. I want a quick, concentric movement and a slow eccentric. We're gonna do this together from the side angle. So quick up and slow lower. The intent is that we're coming up to 90 degrees so that arms are parallel with the ground before we're slowly lowering it down. Quick up, slow lower. who have kids at home also walking around or running around during your workout, I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment below. Let me know how many kids you have, um, girls or boys. I love hearing from you and getting to know you women better. Quick up and slow lower. Good. Kind of shake that out a little bit. Next is forward raise to halo. So it's going to look like this. We're gonna come up to, to parallel and then halo behind us and extend. Come back and halo the opposite direction and extend. Here we go. This is going to improve your shoulder mobility as well as target all of our shoulder muscles all at once. During your extension, I really want you coming to parallel, not letting the arm sink down.
Getting the dumbbell all the way around behind your head. Rest it out. All right, we have headbands. This is really keeping our arms above our head. Much like pulses, that's my intent with one dumbbell, except going back and forth, back and forth, as if we're drawing a headband right over our head. Think about the dumbbell bouncing off your palms as you push it back over to the other side, making sure that there's a good enough arch that we're not just over our head, you should never touch your head. But so there's a nice rainbow of an arch above you. Let's look at this from behind. Now elbows are not bowing out to the side. I don't wanna see any of this, okay? Elbows are coming forward. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Done with headbands for now. Bent over forward raise. You know forward raise from before, but now we're targeting a little bit of the back part of our shoulder, so we're going to be in a little bit of a horse stance. Knees are slightly bent, back is neutral, and gaze is down at the front line of your mat, and biceps are coming in line with your ears. You have a nice wide finger grip on your dumbbell. Now ladies, I don't usually train barefoot. I really support wearing shoes if that's what works best for you. It is what works best for me in order to prevent injuries, prevent plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis. However, I had a freak accident and broke my toe a little over a month ago, about five or six weeks ago, just running out of my girlfriend Rachel's house during, we were having, having dinner in the family over there. It downpoured and my car windows were open, so I sprinted out, jammed my pinky toenail on a rock, and broke it. Well, there's nothing you can really do for a broken toe. It's kind of need to give it time to heal. So I haven't been wearing shoes besides sandals for the past five weeks, and that's just what feels best for me. But I just wanted to clarify that I am a supporter of shoes, if that's what works for you 99% of the time. I am wearing training shoes when I work out. I support that. And just because you see me barefoot in this one workout doesn't mean barefoot training isn't necessarily right for you unless you have slowly worked up to it and that your body is an injury prone and that it doesn't cause injuries for you. Diagonal press and we're shooting up just like this is the bottom of a triangle, pressing up to the ceiling so that your gaze can always see your dumbbell. Two, one, rest it out, okay. Give me a couple shoulder circles. So that is the set of six exercises that have just one dumbbell. We're gonna do that one more time before returning to our two dumbbell set and calling it a day. All right, drivers, here we go. So pushing out, three, two, one, drop back, out. One, two, three, drop back. Feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width distance apart, so you have a good solid base. I don't need you standing like this, okay? It will increase core demand and control, but I want most of the focus on shoulders. Of course, abs are being recruited in, in a really healthy way if you are pregnant and postpartum because it's in an isometric way for the abs, right? We're not moving them, we're just keeping core stability and control. But I don't want, don't want your core moving all over in order to do this exercise. Ava, you look beautiful in those fancy shoes. I love your style. There we go. All right, next is our, our front raises with a fast concentric and a low eccentric. So here we go, quickly up, slow lower. Fast up and lowering down slowly and controlled, avoiding bouncing off the quads. <laughs> Going to prevent that. I'm never a fan of controlling your breath, even during endurance events, such as triathlon, during the swim. But with this, it does feel good when you do a good exhale on the way down. If that helps give you a little bit of focus as you are slowly lowering, fighting gravity. I know the shoulders are burning. Mine are too, I'm right there with you, girl. Quick up and slow lower, great. All right, forward raise with a halo next. Here we go. 
So we're gonna shoot it out, drop back to the chest, halo comes back around the head. Here we go. Halfway there, ladies. <clears throat> 15 seconds. Headband. So this is the one where we're keeping our arms above our head the entire time and really creating a nice arch of a rainbow. And here we go with our headbands. Now just like you would wear a headband a little bit towards the front part of your head, it's not directly in the, in the center. This is also going to be a little bit ahead of you. So let's just look at this from the side. You're creating that big arch above the head. You have your solid wide finger grip on the dumbbell, so there's no chance of it falling. And the dumbbell is essentially landing on your palm as it comes down. This is really increasing time under tension with just one weight. This definitely adding up is going to give you a solid burn tomorrow. You'll be feeling this. And put that down. We have bent over forward raise. So legs are never locked out during this. Legs are slightly bent. We have an, a hinge at the hips and we're bringing our biceps up next to the ears. So you have a nice, strong, tight core here. We're engaging the lower back to keep the back seat. Making our upper back and the backs of our shoulders really strong. Once you hit parallel, it's a little tiny pause before coming back down to lower. When I say parallel, I mean the arms are parallel with the ears. So funny how we have the llama lovey over here just hinging over the fiddly fig like it's nothing. Eva's actually one of her, her chores is to help me water all the plants and it's something she loves to do. So she, she kind of does take good care of these plants, I would say. There's Alice. All right, diagonal press. So our last one with this one dumbbell. So enjoy it while it lasts, ladies, because after this exercise, we're going back to two dumbbell exercises for six exercises before you're done for this day for the challenge. Pressing it hard. Get a, an image on your wall, and I want you driving the dumbbell towards that. So it's going to be just above eyes, a little bit above eyebrows, reaching, extending, and drawing back. Don't delay when you come back. I don't want you resting and hanging out here too long. Get as many extensions as you can in each interval. All right, grab your other dumbbell. Here we go. This is six more minutes out of your diet. You can do anything for six minutes. If you've made it this far, I really completely believe in you. Lateral raises. This is the hardest exercise of the two dumbbell series. And I put it up front for a reason so that you can get it out of your mind that I'm doing something really hard right now. And then it's gonna pass on and get a tad easier for the other five two dumbbell exercises. So functionally, if you are a mother like I am, I have three kids and then this baby here, baby girl, number two, my second girl, two boys and two girls, there's a lot of lifting required when you have kids. You're helping them get on and off a toilet, car seats in and out of a car, you're always carrying a child with groceries. It can be a lot, so in order to prepare yourself for that, you wanna have strong shoulders. And when you're training your strong shoulders, you're going to have a strong core because it's engaged when you're doing all of this shoulder work. So just wanna remind you, you're doing great things for your body. Um, shoulder Arnold's are next. Here we go. So give me a good press up, and then we're going to rotate in. Good. Press up, 
So I'm over here, like half hoping you can't hear Ava playing with all of her toys. She, she's really into me pretend and the boys are doing the same. I'm like half hearing you can't, hoping you can't hear them and then kind of hoping you are because it is a joy. I think of Gigi, Luke's great grandmother. I'm really quite close to her. She's 93 and she just finds so much deep inner joy when we visit because she loves to sound, hear the sound of children and how innocent they are in their play. And that kind of always stuck with me because she's older. Her one child is moved out, you know, he's a full grown man, he looks bad. Um, and so I try to embrace that feeling of taking joy in hearing my kids play, especially when they're, when they're just playing good like they are right now. All right, shoulder pulses. And I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that they're always going perfectly. Um, they generally do get along pretty well, I'd say. Of course, they get in their spats and fights, but when I embrace how good they are playing together or playing just by themselves doing make pretend, it makes me feel more rewarded as a mom when I try to soak up those little moments. Oh, this is burning a lot. I am really wanting a rest. I might have to take one, we're gonna try. We have 17 more seconds here with pulses. Just know that if you're taking a little rest, girl, I am not judging you. This is a challenge. This isn't a regular workout. And I'm impressed you're still here with me. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ah! All right, this is our single arm shoulder press. So remember, we're gonna have one rested right here, but it's not all the way rested, okay? It's semi-rested, it's right here. Half and half, so going for about 22 seconds per arm. Press it up. Give me full extension to the top. You're breathing through the pain. In three, two, one, switch arms. We're keeping it together. We are so close. You literally can't quit now. I, I will not let you do it. So if you're feeling of like pressing pause on me or turning this off, don't you do it. You have to finish. I believe in you. And I hope that you'll share this workout with your friends to inspire them too because how nice is it when you have a friend to kind of push you out of your comfort zone and you can be that for someone. You can inspire her that, hey, I did this hard thing. I want you to try it too. Let's do it together kind of thing. It is, um, it's really encouraging. And I, I sort of seek out women like that in my close friend circle. Like I want women who push me in my faith, who push me physically, who push me to be the wife and mom I wanna be. So anyways, I hope you're enjoying this enough to share it with a friend. Give me three, two, one, switch sides. Remember by switching in the halfway, we're still getting the equivalent of 45 seconds full on each arm total. And then next is our last exercise of the challenge. It's our bicep curls to W press. And three, two, one, rest it up. Okay, shoulder circles back. Mentally preparing yourself. Remember these are palms facing out bicep curls and the W's, I'm sorry, palms facing in once we come up. So palms facing out, bicep curl, and W press. Palms facing out, curl it in, W press. Right, how many reps can you get in? I want you to beat me, that is the goal, okay? I always want you women to be very strong, stronger than me, that's what I'm going for. This isn't a comparison game, this is just you being the absolute best you can be, not limiting your own potential with self-pity. Instead, you're feeling empowered and strong and hopeful that you can get in more reps than you thought you could. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Put those weights down and let's stretch it out together. You won't be needing those. Grab a cup of water. All right, first stretch, we're gonna take one arm, bring it behind you, and with this other arm, we're gonna grasp the wrist and pull it down. I want the ear to drop it down, down, down. So you can see we're getting full extension right here. Yeah, it is. 
You can let Cooper out. Thank you, Ava. She's so sweet, she's whispering. And pointing down this way. Three, two, one. Relax that completely, okay? One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna do the same thing other side. So we're taking this arm, bringing it behind us. Take your hand and pull it down. So we're pulling down to this direction. Now drop a heavy ear down to your shoulder to get full stretch. Hmm? Is it cleaned off and dry? Great. I'm so glad it dried in the sun, sweetie. And three, two, one. Give me five shoulder circles back. Five, four, three, two, one. And then arm figure four stretch. This arm is going to come across the body. We're going to hook it up. Are you sharing my water? You can have as much as you want. So I'm typically into drinking pretty neutral water, but when I'm pregnant, I need ice water all the time because it feels like my body the internal temperature is hot, which it is. You have an increased time to cooling down your body temperature when you're pregnant. So it helps me to crave water more and to drink water more. So whatever it is, whether it's putting a tea bag in your water, or drinking it really cold or with a straw, whatever's going to encourage you to hydrate fully, which means your urine should be a pale yellow, right? So not clear not amber, pale yellow is what we're going for. That means adequately and fully hydrated so your metabolism can work up to par, do it. I really encourage it because it's the easiest way to help your metabolism work at its full capacity and it's free. And we are done. Major congratulations on my extreme shoulder challenge. Please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, press subscribe and join me here on Glow Body PT because I give you so much free content and I hope that you feel rewarded after what you did today because you deserve it. Leave a comment below if there's any other type of challenge that you're craving. I already have a 10 minute squat jump challenge um, on YouTube here and other challenges that you can just type in Glow Body PT challenge and you'll find my challenge workouts because they're short and tense to the point and as you know, you can feel it. So I love you ladies so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.